John, when you look at, I guess, regulatory concerns, so this would be basically the U.S. going from four networks or, you know, telecom providers to three. Will regulation say yes? You know, it's it's not uh, that cut and dry to deal as you would would think. Um, one issue on, on the one side of things is consumer pricing and the potential impact on prices to rise higher as the market concentrates. <clears throat> on the other hand, as we move to the next generation of wireless, these high-speed 5G networks, it's going to take a massive investment. And frankly, I don't think Sprint or T-Mobile are in a good enough position to really compete on par with AT&T and Verizon uh, in investing at the level required. Right, but, so but John, there, if think, they, right, wasn't there a big merger in 2014 that got slapped down by Washington, so they abandoned it? Is, is it different this time? It is different this time, and, and that's a good point. So looking ahead five years in 2014, you didn't see that massive investment in front of you. And so right now, if you really want to realize that 5G vision, you have to have carriers with scale and T-Mobile and, and Sprint just don't have it. What does Sprint do, John, if this doesn't go through? They've been to the altar now once, twice, maybe even thrice. If they don't get this train wreck through in the next year, in the next two year, can Sprint survive on its own? I think they can survive, Tom. They're going to have to do their best to try and build their way out of the problem. And I think they're going to have to do it one market at a time. And obviously, you'd start with the biggest markets or the NFL markets, as they call them. And, you know, slowly but surely, right. you begin <clears throat> to recover the business as you tap those larger markets. And it, it allows you to fund the smaller markets over time. John, we've got Apple out this week as well. You're our expert on the iPhone. Once again, iPhone gloom. iPhone gloom, the world's coming to an end as we know it. You've always pushed back against that. Is the iPhone gloom for real this time? You know, it may be, Tom. The one thing I always point out with this quarter and this time is we have a much broader product, a product line in the iPhone right now. I think there are nine SKUs out there versus six last year. So... Like the iPad product line, they've been broadening out uh, the high end in particular, and the iPhone yeah. X is at the very top of that, <clears throat> or iPhone 10, I should say. And the concern is all centered there, but it's a much smaller percent of revenue than their highest end phone contributed last year. So right. what it does to the quarter and what it means for the future is tough to tell.